Since so many people asked, what will happen if we put smokeless powder in a block powder cannon? Will it build up insane pressures and blow up the cannon? Will it even work? Let's find out. That's it. In this test, I used a, a good quantity of E3 powder, which is one of the fastest burning powders on my chart. Now, I have tried many times to explain why smokeless powder requires high pressures to progressively burn. The, the higher the pressure, the faster it burns, in other words. But if you have any leakage that prevents the pressures to build up, it just won't really ignite like you think it would. And of course, we have a pretty good size flame hole there or fuse hole or whatever you want to call it that just allows the mostly unburnt powder just to blast out of there never building up enough pressure to really get the uh, smokeless powder to ignite and this is kind of the same argument we made about the you know shooting a 69 caliber mini ball out of a 12 gauge shotgun why we needed a, a really solid gas piston and why we couldn't just set the mini ball on top of a big pile of of smokeless powder in a shell and expect it to work you gotta have high pressure for smokeless powder to function that's that's but the bottom line that's it <laughs> 